So, after a day of trying to sort out all the things I wanted to do and sort out the videos I wanted to do, to be fair, this is one of the videos, what I've done is I've prepared a test surface here. So I've got lots of different things to test something on, something very special that Kevin, my fellow goblin, uh, bought for me for Valentine's Day, even though we said we weren't going to be buying each other Valentine's gifts, but that's a different argument. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway, so he bought me a very cool thing. What he bought me was this stuff, right? This is Technicolor by Stuart Semple. Now, you've probably heard of Stuart Semple because he's very much on all the art blogs at the moment. Uh, what I've got here, so this is basically a little kit that he's bought me. And inside the kit are two things, is stick and prism. So what you get in this kit is, uh, Technicolor, is you get 30 millilitres of stick, which you may be surprised to find out is a kind of gluey stuff. Three grams of prism and one applicator. As you can see, this is completely un opened because I was saving it just to share with you guys because I love you. I love you as much as someone can love someone they probably never met before. Actually that doesn't sound right either. Anyway, let's carry on with this. I can get this thing open. Now as always with Culture Hustle stuff, which is Stuart Semple's brand for want of a better word, the packaging on the Apart from this plastic wrapping, but you you know you want to keep stuff fresh. Uh, the packaging is not good. The packaging is lovely. So you've got this lovely sheen on this because prism. In case you probably, I don't know if you've guessed. I don't know if you can, actually, can you actually see that on here? It's got a sort of iridescent sheen on the white. Very very subtle. Basically, uh, prism is uh, an iridescent powder. Oh, come on. I know this slides out, but it's going to be troublesome just because I'm taking a video of it. I mean, look at look at the way this box is made. I just love it. It's just so well thought out. Typical, typical blooming artist overdoing everything. No, I love it. So, yeah, so you've got a nice sturdy piece of cardboard there. Always handy to have a bit of sturdy cardboard. Nice bit of packaging there, very eco-friendly, paper packaging, toss it over there, blup, blup, blup. right, so this one comes, is this in a glass bottle? I can never remember, is this in a glass bottle? Okay, so it's in a glass bottle, so it's in a little bit of bubble wrap, but you know, frankly that's quite a nice little bit of packing there, so that's quite handy. So you've got a sticky powder coating potion, so I apply one coat evenly with a brush, Wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry and be completely transparent. Then add pigment to the stickiest stick using a sponge brush. And it comes with a sponge brush. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Who doesn't love a black sponge brush? I mean, this could be used for makeup, but it's not. This is for art purposes. Or art purposes, if you prefer. Look at that. Oh, lovely. The shape of that. It's a very satisfying shape. I mean, admittedly, you can get like a just a sponge from, like a th pack of three sponges from Poundland for, like makeup sponges from Poundland for a pound. But you know, they're not the same. I mean, that's that's a Poundland one. And it's a lot firmer than this. This one's a nice squeaky boy. And then, and this is the babe. This is Prism. Right, and I don't know if you can see with this camera or not. Let's try and get it as close as possible. But can you see? That shimmer, that rainbow shimmer, that is the powder inside. That is not the bottle. The bottle is completely clear and lovely. This is this powdery stuff inside. Look, I shall open this and show you. Look at that. Spike. How, 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 look at that. Oh, so shame. Unfortunately, my, I can't quite keep it. Yeah. I may have to take it, get a better camera to actually show this off a bit better. But first, I'm going to stick it to things. So as I say, oh yeah, and of course, instructions, both written and visual. <gasps> stick will remain sticky until it is covered with powder, which is handy because it means if you leave it 
So it's super important to seal the surface if it is porous before applying stick, which is why I've got several. So this one would be interesting to see it on plane, but I've put gesso down here, a clear gesso, so basically which basically seals this paper surface. But I wanted to have a little bit of the paper spared just so I could see what it looked like on a just so if see because the worst worst comes to worst, I can always stick an extra layer on so it will be its own sealant, which is a bit weird. But anyway, so it's super important to seal the surface if it is porous before applying stick. Paint on a thin coat of stick with a clean paintbrush. Yeah, I have some clean paintbrushes. I was just having to check there. Wait up to 15 minutes or until clear using our wand. And let's be honest, it's a magic wand. Uh, dip into pigment and brush or dab over stick. So it says put it out into a little container here, which looks, I don't know. Uh, and of course, the star there, 15 minutes, it says stick will remain stick until it is covered with powder. So that's good because it means that if you do, like if you go off and make yourself a cup of tea and get distracted or whatever, you can come back and still use your powdery stuff on it. So, and also that's, that feels so nice. Why is that so very, very pleasant? It kind of feels like not quite neoprene. Anyway, that's beside the point. We want to get on with the interesting stuff. Right, clean brush. I have here a clean, if not very good brush, which as you can see is knackered. It's one of those ones you buy for like 10 for a pound from somewhere, like Wish or I don't even know. At some stage, this has obviously been left in water because look at the state of that. Anyway, right, so let me explain my surfaces that I'm going to be testing on here. So I have got white Posca pen, which is basically an acrylic pen. Unfortunately, I didn't actually uh, shake it properly before I put it on here. So it's, yeah, that looks crap. Anyway, uh, black Posca pen. I have red yellow and blue because primary 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 uh, i've got white acrylic paint i have black indian ink i have clear gesso down here i've got it all labeled so you can see but i just want to go run through it with you i have got just ordinary pencil which probably won't work very well i have black vinyl i would be interested to see how that works i've got a bit of scrap plywood and a bit of scrap plastic to see what's what i probably should put something on that on the plywood however I'm thinking that if it works well on the gesso, then I don't know, the stick may not work very well. I may have to put two layers of stick on that one. We shall see. So, first off, look how thin this is. This is really runny. You wouldn't expect it to be so runny. But I suppose it goes further that way. I've broken my nail, so I've just glued it together. There. I'm just too far down. I was like, if I, if I pull that off, that's going to hurt. Just in case you were worried, which I'm sure you were. But you might have been. I don't know. I worry about people on YouTube. I watch videos and I'm like, oh, are they okay? I was watching a, um, a sculpting, a, a woman doing like papier mache sculpting on one video. And uh, I saw that she'd had like a bruise or something on her. Right, so I'm painting this on here. So I'm going to just do some of it, so you can see the difference between the two surfaces. I should really be painting the pretty pitten, pa pitten? pattern. Uh, oh, it's too late for the white, which is, yeah, a thing. I am going to see if we can do this. Yay! Little love heart there. Probably going to just soak in and not work very well on there. This one, let's have a little pentagram. Because who doesn't love an iridescent pentagram? Oh no, colour and make a star. How boring of me. How very dull. Might do. And then we've got, oh, I know, the primary colours. Mm. Uh, 
there's a worm at the bottom of my garden. Little worm, or whatever the hell that's like. What about this one? I got I I Ooh. It's gonna be one of those. Whoop, whoop. This is one of these ones that goes yep, 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 yep. Uh huh, uh huh. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, black ink. What are we gonna go with? Black ink. We are gonna go with. Oh, they look like little rain dots. I mean, obviously, rain is actually spherical, but. For the purposes of illustrative, for illustrative purposes. This one's quite a big one. What should I draw on this one? And a little house. Uh, and then we got pencil, which I would imagine would provide some sort of barrier to the stick, but hopefully it won't. Hopefully I won't pick up too much of it. I'm gonna do is a couple of big spoopy eyes. Or possibly boobies, by the look of it. I'm going to have to do something about that because otherwise the algorithm will be like, Oh no, it's boobies. What I will do is this. Give them little eyelashes. Give them a little nose. Give them a little smell. Right, let's see. Vinyl. Oh, it does not want to stick onto that. Which is not really surprising. Give it some zigzags. Okay. So this one's fairly easy. Because the shape of this one. Yeah, I think I might have to give this one two. Two coats. I feel that one's going to soak in a bit. Although I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be coated stuff. And last but not least, oh no, not last but not, not last, not least, a bit of plastic. But just a bit of plastic. I don't know if that's going to work at all, actually, that one. Yeah, it does not want to stick, which is understandable. Seems happy on all the other materials, but anything plastic it doesn't like. Right, so here's the nail varnish. Let's see if I can draw a little hand. Yes. Didn't think that one through. Well, it's kind of hand shaped ish. Right, so now it's got to go. I mean, some of them are already clear. You can see there's bits where they're not. So I've got to wash this brush before it goes gross. I have no idea if this smells or not, so I apologise if it does smell. Let me know in the uh, comments. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to leave this video running for a second while I go and wash this brush. And I will see you when they're dry. Right. It's been about five minutes and you can see quite a few of them are already clear here and the ones you would expect not to be drying are not dry so the ones on the plasticky stuff basically so you've got the nail varnish the plastic the plastic plastic and the black vinyl uh, are not drying so I'm gonna give it another well obviously it says 15 minutes up 15 minutes on the instructions but weirdly enough the box says what does it say? What does it say there? It says on the, the instructions 
in the box. Wait up to 15 minutes. Uh, it says on the instructions on the bottle, 10 to 15 minutes. So it's, 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 yeah. So I should really give it another five minutes anyway. Right. So, on the principle that these ones still haven't dried, it's been about, oh God, I don't know, oh, quite a while and I'm bored. So, I'm going to try the other ones and hope these ones dry as I'm farting around. Right, so I think you're supposed to put it into a little container, but I'm worried about using it all up too quickly if I do that because how am I going to get it back in the teeny tiny little pot? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here and hope for the best. So what do we get on the end of this? We get mm, like a little shiny, little shiny, pokey, I don't know what you would call that. I mean, I do know what I would call that, but it's probably best if I don't. Right, so first off, because I did this one first, so this should be the most dry. This. What are we looking at here? We are looking at some sparkles. I think what I'm going to have to do to actually be able to see this properly is get a better quality camera. Maybe put that on there because this is quite a big... On the flat bit. There. Uh, see. Look. Oh. Oh no. There's sparkles everywhere now. Oh my god. So sparkly. Look at that. Well, I have no idea if I should be wearing moss while I'm doing this, because I feel that this is very fine powder. Ooh. I mean, for me, it looks really shiny so far. It's like, can you see any of that shininess? Admittedly, that just looks shiny there with the, because I've got such a bright light on it. Right, so I've got that on there. So does it work on the, it goes a long way, this stuff though. Because look, now it's like you put powder on it, it's pretty much dry. It's like, <laughs> so we got this one, which is a little love heart. So it says if you put it on something porous, it won't work. But look at this. That looks pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Don't you think that looks pretty good? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, it's cute, look. Look at it, so shiny. Shiny love one. Bit late for it, it's no longer Valentine's. Valentine's with a V. Let's see what it looks like on the black. Mm. Sexy. Use some of this from over here, put some of that on there, put some of this on there. Wow. You see, I've done half of the star. Wow, that's pretty, pretty disco. Scoop some of this up. Dip, dip, dip. Dab, dab, dab. Dip, dip, dip. Dop, dop, dop. Dab, dab, dab. Can you see it? You can probably hear it going stick, 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 stick. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. After all, I'm a goblin. I'm about to make weird. It really does take. I don't know how you get rid of the e the excess, to be honest with you. I'll be quite frank with you. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know how you would seal this either. I'm not. I'll have to look into that. Wow, that's real. Look at that on the black there. Shum, 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 shum. Not so great on the white, I don't think. Although, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's have a look at it on the colours. On the red. Oh, look at me. Um, so that's just red Posca. It's not going on there. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at that. See if I can. It's going quite a long way, considering it's like I'm doing like one little 
Blur. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to tell me what you think. Is Do you think this is going a fair way? Brushy brush, 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 brush. It's not a brush, it's a sponge, but I'm going to use it like a brush. Just so that I can use, rather than waste any of the sparkly goodies. I don't know if I'm putting put it on too roughly. But it, wow. I don't know if you can see, can you see how... I mean, that's just like fully rainbowified. You know, you can see the, the background a little bit through it, but it's just like... It's like this weird... When the light's pretty much straight on it, it just looks like silver. And then you, you move it even a tiny bit. And it's like... Whoa, the whole... Like, the 70s come and visit your house. So disco, as I say. I don't know if you could... That's quite cool. It does... And the best where it's not stuck, it really... I reckon with a bit of work and a soft brush, you could probably get that back to almost sparkle-free. Let's have a look. So on white acrylic paint, I can't even remember what. Thing is, I can't really see if it's dried properly because it's on white. So it may. This is hoping it has dried properly because I do not want to f up this applicator thing. Although I have put quite a lot on there. So. Oh, don't know if I've done it wrong. That felt more. That felt a lot wetter. So. It, Oh no, I think that move. Oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's so kind of like a little mouth and some eyes, and hopefully I haven't screwed up the. Oh no, it feels. doesn't feel sticky on the actual applicator, so hopefully. But obviously that one hadn't dropped, that bit hadn't dried properly. Because you can see as you... Oh my god, that looks properly cursed. Blah. Sorry. Just see how these ones go. These, these all look. I'm gonna just using what's left on there. Can you see what? Can you see? So it looks more on the camera than it does in real life. That looks actually quite full of powder. But in real life, if I look at that, it just looks slightly shimmery. But let's see if there's enough to do these dots here. These little illustrative raindrop thingies. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, that looks... I mean, it, so far, I think it just works on the black so well. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Look at that. That is some rainbow fish... That is some rainbow fish shizzle right there. Look at that. Ooh, and the, the, oh my God, I've got to take a picture of that with a decent camera because you cannot see properly with this. If I can get the, yeah, if I can get Kevin's new camera, I will half inch that and show you. Look, there's still powder on this thing. Now this is on the clear gesso, remember? It's not like I haven't written on every single one what it is. You know, I like I feel the need to say it. Because, you know. I mean, let's be honest, it wouldn't be a very good video for someone who was visually impaired, but which I feel bad about. So I suppose it's good that I say it in case. Just in case. But look, it's pretty. Oh look, you can just see it in the bottom there. It's pretty. Not much contrast though, but it does add a little bit of. That's quite. If you want to suffer, if you, I'm looking away as I say this. I think that's quite pretty. I'm looking at it, trying to look at it on the screen while I'm doing it on the camera, but the screen is behind me, so my voice is not actually pointing towards the microphone that I'm using. I should really have two microphones, but like a fool, I only have one. Well, I say that. I've got one on the uh, on the this camera, but it's terrible. You you just would hear a lot of hissing, and and that's just me. And it's just like 
a bit more sparkles. Just need more sparkles. What about this one? So this one's the pencil one, which just makes the grey a little bit darker, really. Well, that's not quite pretty. It's pretty. See his little eyes. Little eyes. Problem is, uh, see his eyes with that one. Uh, the problem is, unfortunately, because the pencil is shiny in the light, it kind of takes away from the shininess of the prism. But it does give a proper. I oh, look, the black vinyl looks as if it might be usable there. I don't know, I think I might leave that to la the, those ones till last though, because they're still a little bit. I feel like they're probably still a little bit liquid, which I don't like. I don't really want, as I say, I don't really want to mess up this applicator thing. Right, let's have a look at this, see if this has worked at all. Because this one, I expected the the stick to, uh, I've st I stuck it onto the paper with a bit of super glue, which is why it's got that. Because I was in a rush. And if I'd done it properly, I would have used something that wouldn't have done that. But Oh, look, it's so pretty. I've got where have I got extra? I don't really know. It's got a little bit of stick this one. Yeah, I probably should have put some probably would work better with a bit of gesso or a bit of, even a bit of varnish or something. Just something to seal it, a little bit sealant. Obviously, it doesn't have as much flexibility, so it's not going to be as that. Obviously, because that's wood, it doesn't have as much flexibility, so it's not going to be as you're not going to be able to get those different gradations of color. But I think if what I reckon you could do is probably do another layer of gluey stuff and then another layer of this, and I think that possibly make for a stronger a stronger effect. But I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you reckon? Tell me what you think. Do you think there would be a better? There probably is a better way to do that. I mean, if you've used it yourself, then please let me know and do that. Right, so I'm going to tentatively, just very gently do this because I am still slightly worried that this one is not ooh, and not 100% dry. And I worry because I'm a worrier. But now it has the stuff on it. It can't really. Okay, that looks weird. It's just staticking to the vinyl. This is still not dry. To wait for that to dry. This is. I think I've got enough here to do the last two bits without. I'm gonna put the lid on this one, and I'm gonna see if I can fix the vinyl. So actually you can see properly because actually from your point of view it looks quite good from my point of view this looks all just silver uh, i have got this little boy here in my work i'm gonna have brushes with sparkles in for the rest of eternity let's make the whole thing from the right angle or the wrong angle look Silver. That looks quite good from your from above. That looks quite cool. But can you see it's made the whole vinyl go? Which it, it's not a bad look. I mean, it's. I don't know if you can remove that or whether that's on there for good now. Probably you could remove that, but you might ruin whatever you've got on there. So maybe not ideal for this sort of. Thing. Like I, don't know, I don't know if I've ruined that brush now. That may just be forever spangly. Forever spangles. Do, 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 do. So that's now varnish that one. And I can see there's still a little bit on there that's. Can you still see the little bit that's not dry? Just a little bit white. 
I'm gonna try the bottom dot here. Just boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. That was very sticky. Ah! But I mean, this should be well dry by now. Well, I'd imagine you could probably do this straight onto it's almost dry nail varnish, but and then do the whole nail if you wanted. But I don't know if it's toxic, so it doesn't say it's toxic. What does it say? It's got really tiny. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say it's toxic or damaging. It's not like some of his stuff, which is like, do not do this with such and such. You will die. Uh oh. That feels right. Yeah, it just pushes the stick to the, the edges, just thins it out rather than actually sticking it onto your thing because the um because the powder actually works as a barrier to that. I don't know if I should even be touching this with my hands, but there you go. It's so pretty. Yeah, so right, so let's see if I can get this to show up on this camera, and if not, I will kill 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 I feel this one could be better. Right, so I have got see I was expecting this one to be stronger because I put the gesso on because I thought that would give it a better you know, because it's supposed to be on non-porous surfaces you use the gluey stuff. But actually I think the one without the Jesso has worked better on there, but then this is, this is very rough. It's very smooth. So you've got it, I think. Yeah. And this one again is rough and it hasn't come out very well. But then that was my fault because I did a such a cruddy job. I didn't actually. <sighs> Don't even get me started. Don't get me started. Right, so let's see if we can get this to look half decent. So, first off, the white, on the white. On the white, see if we can get some shimmer going on so it's nice but it's hard to get the effect out there and you got the gray where it kind of looks silver normally ah, so much shiny yeah. i mean on the black it looks on the black yeah, it looks bloody phenomenal look at that look at that it's gorgeous gorgeous and then you've got the colors of the sort of primary colors i would imagine if you use this on top of like a uh, a pastel color that you just want to use a highlight so if you had like a pastel and then you just did the stick just inside the line it would give it like not only would you have the iridescence with the pastel behind it but you'd also have like a, it would almost look like it glows because you can still see the underlying color to an extent but it just Just adds that something. This one I think is quite good on the white acrylic because that seems to have given it the sort of surface it likes. So, may so maybe using the but this one I think is just because it's hardly stuck to the ink. Just that I gotta, I gotta show you. This. Look at this. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. It's just beautiful, that. Just, oh, you just want to eat it. I mean, is that what I want to do? But it's, a, you know, it's desirable. It's desirable. That's on the Indian ink. Just like this paper, Indian ink. Just little dots of it. And it just looks so effective. And it's so sexy. Uh, and then on the clear gesso. So basically, the, the like a normal... Gesso, where it's just to give it a surface to work on. So it's, well, it works all right. It's not. I don't think it's my fa I don't think it's my favourite effect. I think you know that one's quite cute, but it, again, that one's too shiny, so it doesn't doesn't feel like you're getting much rally there because the you have to really work to get the the colour difference. 
Yeah. So that one's cool. This one's cool, but I don't think. So I think the problem there is that it's then staticed onto all of the onto the actual black vinyl. So you've got too much stuff. But if you want that effect, then yeah, it's cool. I don't know how long it would stay like that for, because you know, obviously, because it's not stuck on; it's just static or friction or whatever it is that is holding it there. It might, after a while, wear off. So I don't know. Uh, and there's that. It, this with on the wood. Let's try to get this to work. It just, it just doesn't want to work. It's cute, but. Yeah, so either I think you've got to do a couple of layers of stick or put something down there as like an under layer on top. So it's like a... Like, that might be a good place to use the clear gesso, actually, if you're doing that. Uh, this one with plate sticks worked quite well. Better than I thought it would look at. Uh, better than I thought it would. I couldn't actually draw a pattern, though, with the, with the gluey stuff. Although, if you look there... Obviously, as it's dried, it's not dry particularly evenly. It's got like a little crack through it. And that one's where it's still wet. It's just made a little hollow. But if you want a, a textural effect rather than a, than a pattern or a picture, then that might work quite well for you. You know? It might, because the, 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 I mean, this is just plastic. I cut off a bit of packaging. Let's see. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the crack, but I can see. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. That's the crack. Can you see the the little the little the little imperfections there? So it's quite sweet, but I'm not sure how much it will work. This okay, this one I put on too soon. It wasn't dry properly, so that's 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 me. I, I did that wrong. On the nail varnish. On the nail varnish, I did that wrong. Uh Sorry about that. But, you know. I would imagine that. Oh, can you imagine if you had that as like a French uh, a French polish on your nails? So you had that as like just the, the very tips there. I don't know if you can seal over it or anything. I suppose I could test that. <laughs> Give me a second. Because I happen to have in my... I don't really want to get this brush knackered, but what I can do is just put a blob and see what happens. And get a little bit of something to push it around just to get the idea of it. I've got a bit and end of scrap of paper here. Actually, scrap of paper, don't you? Scrap of paper, scrap of paper. Get a piece of wood and give them a bit of a Firmth. Firmth. What's firm? I think firmness. Solidity. I don't know. Just see if this will work on top of there. So, you know. Oh, is it taking it off? I mean, uh, uh, I mean to, to be honest, this is a lot of hassle to go for, for this sort of effect because you can get these sort of iridescent nail polishes anyway. I just wanted to see if you could... Uh, does it work? Does it? Oh, it kind of breaks it up. But then I have put it on with a bloody piece of scrap of wood. Although the wood doesn't have any of the sparkles on, so maybe it is the. That's kind of cool. It's kind of crackly. It's gone crackly. If you can see, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I don't know if that's any good. But yeah, that's just a thing that popped into my head, I don't know if that's good, bad, indifferent. This video has been brought to you by me not being able to find the other things that I wanted to make, the two other videos that I wanted to make. But yes, now I have a, a wand covered in dust and I have some sparkly things. Sparkles! So many sparkles! So very many sparkles! But uh, yeah, no, that was fun. And uh, give, if you've got any ideas or any thoughts as to what I should use it for, I've got a couple of ideas, but uh, obviously those are secret for the time being. 
But if you've got any ideas, please share them in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.